What's up everybody? Here I am on Wednesday the 24th. It's Willie's birthday. Um, I have a few things to do today. I need to buy some chickens. I need to uh, uh, do keg stuff. I need to start a barn. And, um, I don't know. I should just chop down some of these trees. Also, I realized I have a. What are the words that I'm trying to think right now? Honestly, if I remove this, just the entire tree, I'll put a barn there. Oh, look, there's another tree behind it. Fancy. Um, it's kind of a tangle of trees. Right, I realized at some point that I actually need to... Well, maybe I don't need to. I'm probably going to need to buy some wood for all my preserves. Also, I should move my crab pots into the ocean. Which is fine, because I'm going to Willy's anyway. Speaking of... Um, I think... I don't have any super cucumber. I might give him a sturgeon. He also likes octopus and catfish. I don't really have a lot of any of those. But a sturgeon, I can at least catch more of those this month if I wanted to. I don't know. I mean, what are the chances actually that I'm gonna need one? Are they even used for quests or anything? Oh wait, I do need... I mean, okay, so I need one for a fish pond. And then, honestly, the luau next summer, I can do kind of whatever I want, I think. Yeah, let's give Lily a sturgeon. Let's pick up those crab pots. I think I lose the bait for it because I... Because, you know, but that's not how you pick up a crab pot. How do you pick up a freaking crab pot? Can I not pick them up after they've been baited? What is this? <laughs> okay, fine. I'll deal with it tomorrow. Um, I'm going to make a bunch of kegs. Actually, I need like almost all of this wood for a barn. Was it 100 stone? 150 stone. And 350 wood. Okay. I'm going to need to move that crystal arium, I think. Um, oh, that's the wrong chest. There we go. Yeah, it's a much cleaner inventory. Okay, so I have the fish for Willy. I have materials for a barn. I just need to put my tappers over here. God, this cat is going to be the death of me. It's in my way so often. Which, like, I guess is partly my fault for having everything be tight quarters like this. But, like, goddamn. Doesn't need to be that obnoxious, does it?
And I should also get myself a whole bunch of tree fertilizer. Oh, it's not picking up any of those. Check out the freaking thing, dude. This is going to be a little bit of a nightmare. Anyway, um, I have 14, which is expected, I'm pretty sure. Um, to see what I want, I need enough wood to both build the barn and build 14 more. I have iron and copper and stuff. So it really is just a matter of how much wood I can get. I feel like there's probably something else I was planning for today. And now I don't remember what that might have been. Um, kind of thinking though. There's a lot of trees I can and should chop down, actually. Oh, right, tree fertilizer is a thing that I wanted. Oh, hello, Lewis. Fancy seeing you here. So I need two chickens, one white. And one brown. There it goes. Um, I'm tempted to just hurry up and go. I can chop down trees for kegs and stuff later. But yeah, tree fertilizer is... I had to check because I didn't actually know when it unlocked. Apparently it unlocks at, you know, uh, uh, Forging 7, which is better than I expected. And also, the recipe as a whole is cheaper than I expected. So, kind of some good things all around. And if I apply that to a bunch of trees, then, you know, that would be cool for reasons. And I should do that. I kind of wish I'd have read that, the rest of that message. Interesting that Willie gives advice on getting Elliot to dislike you. I don't... I don't know. Maybe I will go after it. I need to make sure I have enough time to get to Robin's, though. Which I don't think will be any problem, but... You like salmon berries, right? Yeah. Uh oh, are we gonna have trouble on this bridge? Shit.
Am I interested in buying stuff? I have to buy her out of all this stuff before she starts selling via other things? I don't know. I don't want to be buying a bunch of crap right now. Um... Actually, how much I have 505, I need 30 times 14 plus 350 is 770. for sure that I can cut down almost 300 wood worth of trees so I am going to buy some from her. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I should be able to find enough trees and save myself the money. If I put this barn here, I don't know if either of those trees are going to grow. Actually, putting it here is fine. Should be fine. If not, I'll move it. She likes hardwood? Okay. Actually, how much do I have? 594. How much is this worth? 225? Hmm. Well. Let's roll on up and check here. See, if I apply some tree fertilizer... You know. already finishing. That's cool. Um, let's grab 14, 14, and see how many I can make right now. Yeah, we're sh okay. Well, I do want to move that tapper at some point, so I don't, I don't want those pine trees down here that I could use. Actually, this one is almost in the way of my fruit trees. Oopsies. 
so that should be enough. I also don't want to spend like the rest of the day chopping down trees or anything, so you know. Um, hmm. well, my melons aren't done growing. I still need to water my melons. Too bad I can't water my watermelons. That's the wrong chest. There we go. Why are my artisan products split up like that? That's... I missed. Okay, what am I going to put in my kegs? Oh wait, no, I had already thought about that. I want to do... Like, beer and hops. Right? There was something else. Coffee. I could do coffee. how long it'll take for all the things. Yeah, that crystallarium is very much going to be in the way. Let's start with coffee. Oh, that doesn't work? That used to work. I swear that used to work. Pretty sure it works while in sheds. It does work well in sheds. Whatever. So how long? Two hours? Yeah. Oh god damn it, cat. <clears throat> Alright, well. Let's um go finish up some foraging stuff. I don't think I want to sell the coffee though. I think the speed boost would be better. Oh, mixed seeds. I learned something about mixed seeds today. Reading the wiki. Apparently, there's a lot less of variety um, than I thought in terms of what they turn into. Like, each season only has, like, three or four options. And as it turns out, Ginger Island is OP. Because Ginger Island doesn't just, like, pull randomly from all the seasons or use the current season. Um, instead, Ginger Island does either blueberries uh, fucking pineapples, melons, or rhubarb. I'm like, I don't know. Blueberries are good, but not amazing, I'd say. But, like, the rest of them, those are fucking valuable. Especially the pineapple. Like, holy shit. Every time I've been to Ginger Island, I just, like, wait and wait and it kind of seems like it takes forever to get pineapples and they're always like one of the last crops I get I mean like there's the mangoes um, and bananas actually bananas are like the last thing I get but that's you know a fruit tree and that's sort of not a fair comparison but yeah it just feels like it takes a while to get all the 
pineapples going, and if I can just get some for free, like immediately, upon getting the farm at Ginger Island, but that's amazing. <laughs> And I'm hoping to have um, Ginger Island by winter. Oh shoot. I need to go home. Or I can just chop down the last couple trees. And just eat food since I'm already all the way down here. But yeah. I mean if I Apparently I'm going to have at least a handful of pineapple uh, crops by uh, spring. I'm hoping it's a 25% distribution for each of the crops, but I don't actually know. With 56 mixed seeds I'm hoping to get at least, um, and like I'll get more, but you know, if I can get 10 or 15 pineapples going, that's kind of amazing. Let's see, do I want beer or hops? I forget the processing time. I think I can also just like dump coffee in and it'll be fine. Oh, I don't even have enough coffee for all the rest of it. That's also fine. Um, Let's do some beer. Hold on. Oh boy, I'm coming close, huh? I didn't even bring enough. Okay, well, that's fine. Cool. Oh, I should have put down my crystallarium. I can do so now. Why not? You made it to bed. Hell yeah. I have more than half health or half energy. But yeah, if I. Ooh, ancient fruit, finally. So if I'm moving. Crab pots. Do I want to move the worm bin with them? I kind of feel like probably. Technically, I don't need to water these melons today, but I'm gonna anyway. And unfortunately, I don't yet have a seed maker, so I'm just kind of stuck with this ancient fruit as is. Wait, I've, I thought I had like 95 coffee beans. Why do I now have... Oh, I just harvested some. Ha. I'm a fucking idiot. I don't know. I don't have plans for today. Hmm.
I also uh, looked at stuff. And I've decided that I actually need two plants to um, be planted right away for fall. Pumpkins and cranberries. Everything else can wait. And granted, cranberries and pumpkins are like 90% of what I'm going to be planting, but like... It means I can plant wheat in at least some of my spots. And like, it'll be fine. Um, if... It's... If I can't harvest that wheat until like, fall third or something. Because then I can still plant like, everything else. And it'll grow. I think eggplants need to be planted by the second day. Maybe? Oh, I didn't say hi to my chickens. That's one thing I forgot to do. Yeah, well. I guess that means I need to go get some hay as well. Except I already have some in the silo. Is my farming level nine? So I should have the seed maker actually. I guess it's not unlocked until level ten. Try not to forget about traveling cart tomorrow. I don't want to forget about coffee now. I didn't fucking let the chickens out. I'm so bad at this game. I just want to check how many artifacts I've found. I need one more to get a free scarecrow from the museum. I should try harder to farm that one dwarf scroll from the uh, from Monster Drops in the Mind. seen a lot of artifact spots.
Actually, I might need those mushrooms. Honestly, I should go ahead and sell a bunch of these things. Um, I want to keep like a couple things, like just in case. Do I need to ship one of these? Hopefully not. Well. Um. Are these going to finish up soon? No. Um. Still don't really have a lot to put in. Maybe I'll just do more blueberries because they're so plentiful. Apparently they drop from any monster other than Skeleton Serpent, Wilderness Golem, Carbon Ghost, Iridium Bat, Iridium Crab, or Haunted Skull. Which sounds not... Sounds like not a problem. Just because it drops from the monsters doesn't mean it drops, like, everywhere, right? Because, like, the bats... Yeah, I guess all the bats drop it. But it's a 0.1% chance. Well... I am thinking... Okay, well, I need more coal. And I do want to get rid of these crab pots. And I don't want to be, like, shuffling stuff around all the time. So if I drop off the crab pots and the worm bin, that's not really what I meant to do. It's fine. Um, at the ocean. With a chest. I just realized I failed to wait until level 10 farming, which hopefully I don't need. Or, I don't know. There's a thought somewhere in the head, but getting it out is a little bit more difficult. I don't know how much of this energy I'm actually going to consume. I'll take a handful of mushrooms with me. Just so I have them. But yeah, let's go to the beach. Drop off the crab pots.
Oh, I didn't bring some bait to get those started. Rip. Too late now. I think I'm just gonna walk up to the mines to help increase the chance that I find an artifact spot, because I would love a free scarecrow before fall. Sebastian, you're breaking stuff. Well, there's my scarecrow. Cool. Still, though, I do need coal regardless. And hopefully, I find the uh, the. Uh, Dwarf Scroll 4 while I'm at it. This isn't exactly a lot of time to go mining, but I'll make it work somehow. <clears throat> frozen tier. Interesting that the slam didn't break the uh, crystal. What's my freaking luck today? It does feel good. expect the dust sprites to cause collision. Oh, that was sloppy. Whatever. Not that it matters, I don't think, but um, 
may as well. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Too bad I didn't get that like a week ago or something. I might be remembering wrong, but the dwarf's birthday might have been like Monday. Oh, I should have been watching the time. But yeah, this feels like just about the earliest I've ever gotten all four dwarf scrolls. So that's fancy. go to the museum like tomorrow or something it doesn't really matter actually turns out I did not end up using all my energy oh well may as well drop that off I guess I may as well go refill kegs and stuff um, See that worked. Why wasn't it working with the kegs? I'm confused. Oh nice. I didn't actually realize. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Fine. I'm sorry, I'm all tabbed. Yeah, it was the dwarf's Mo uh, birthday on Monday. Twenty-three eight seventy. Melon wine. I was expecting to get more. I, I think I was looking at the post artisan profession, which I'm not gonna have for a while. But still, eleven thousand is pretty good. A fair chunk of pickled kale. Cool. Two storms in a row. Not bad. Wheat's good to go. At least that wheat is. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna plant uh, 
wheat in place of all of that. I should probably reference my spreadsheet though. Cause like, I don't wanna plant too much wheat. How many things am I planting that isn't cranberries or pumpkins? I mean, there's like 50-ish things, so like, I'm sure it's fine. Ooh, I have a seed maker and an ancient seed, and it's before the end of this, the season. Do I plant the ancient fruit? I think I do. I only get one harvest out of it, but I can still double it, you know? Wood, coal, gold. Okay. Let's go see just how much, how many of these crops I'm dealing with. Oh, this is going to be a lot of wheat, though. Like, this is more wheat than I'm going to be able to use. Right? Because if I plant just the radishes alone is like everything that isn't a cranberry or pumpkin. with all this. I do have coffee actually. Probably should have waited to drink it until I wasn't chopping trees. This does not last very long. Smooth speed is nice though. It's not even a large buff, but I do feel it. So radishes should keep my preserves jars full for well, It's working now. It must be the type of thing I was holding. Like it doesn't work with wheat or coffee or something for some reason, but other stuff does work. I don't know what the difference is, but that is how it was supposed to go. Um, okay, do I have any other artifacts or like geodes? That's not the geode chest. I have several geodes. Sure. Let's just go. Ah, the coffee's gone. Um, 
Traveling Cart, Secret Woods, Blacksmith, Museum, Ocean Crab Pots, and then back to the mines. That should be all right. Two red cabbage seeds. What a year. Um, yeah, I'm feeling confident. I'll do that. I'm still hoping to like find something that makes it unnecessary for me to upgrade to a big barn or coop. Because that would just be delicious. You know. I didn't do the seed maker. Nor did I replant wheat. Okay, so I guess I can stop at Pierre's. Wheat is really cheap, so I'll probably just buy like a fucking hundred or some shit. Here comes Speed Racer. It is weird how much faster you feel. What the fuck? There we go. Man, if I get... How much more money am I getting this season? I mean, another 13,000 at least from blueberries, right? And then, like, I could probably do even more from Gold Star Melons. I don't, I don't like, there's the one tree, but I don't see any other reason to go down. It's weird how it gets jittery when I walk diagonally. That's not what I wanted, but dang, that's a big zoom. Oh, I forget, I get free pumpkin seeds, too, from the museum. This is, like, the time to pick those up. Technically, this chest is cheating a little bit, but I think it only saves a tiny, 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 insignificant amount of effort, so I think it's fine. Actually, it might be slightly more effort. I have to access the chest to get the bait as opposed to just like walking by and grabbing it without breaking stride. So, uh, hmm. I wish the hold to break mod worked. That would be fun. But yeah, if I can make enough money, granite is not used for stuff. Cool. God, that mod is convenient. Um, if I can make enough money, I would like to upgrade some tools sooner rather than later. I don't really know which tool. I mean, pickaxe is always good. Axe is good. Kind of all good. Here's too full to go to the mines. Maybe it'd be alright, I don't know. I 
I guess I should have taken the minecart, huh? Unless I'm going home to empty my inventory. I need to be at Pierre's, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Speed grow on ancient fruit. Would it work? I don't think so. I don't think I'd be able to get an extra harvest out of it. It's um... No, if I'm looking at this correctly, using speed grow just means that the second harvest would come on uh wait a minute because if I plant it now yeah speed grow isn't going to help me as it is I'm not going to be able to harvest it until Saturday Technically, the speed grow or, uh, or planting the uh, ancient fruit might not actually yield any benefits. Actually, I don't know how much wheat I have, and it's cheap. Just buy some. Cool. Um, so I have 75 wheat, I can plant how much? Something like 50. before it starts interfering with cranberries and pumpkins. I don't really want other stuff this far away, but it'll be fine. That'll be fine. Scarecrow, I should drop somewhere. And then I forget wood, gold, coal. Yay. I can also use this for strawberries now because. I intend to have the greenhouse unlocked in the first week or so of fall, and I need something to put in there. And, uh, I mean, strawberries aren't like the best option, but they're certainly not the worst either. Um,
Okay, now that my inventory is cleared out. What sort of stuff do I want to put in the seed maker? Do I want to... I suppose that's a decision for a couple days from now. I already checked... Yeah, I already checked the traveling cart today. Starfruit. I could put starfruit in the seed maker. Huh. Oh, I have two ancient fruit. I didn't even notice harvesting the second one. Shit, okay. But yeah, considering I'm fairly poor-ish, relatively kind of speaking, I'll just go for it, man. This star fruit, I don't, I'm not gonna like need it for something right now, so like, we're good. Um, and then like, yeah, at some point, I'd like a bunch of strawberry seeds, if only so I can plant them spring one, because <laughs> spring is kind of shit for good crops to plant. There shouldn't be anything in here. Um, but, hey, there's like all this open space right over here for seed maker stuff. Oh yeah, man. Um, I don't think I'm going to sit here. Well, I do want to get the ancient fruit planted today. Um, I already planted all my wheat. <laughs> I mean, that's okay. I'll just break some of the wheat and uh, it'll be fine. Oh shit, this wheat is ready to harvest. Okay. Well, now I feel like I'm overplanting wheat. I might have already been overplanting. But maybe I just have a whole bunch of crops, I don't know. It'll be fine one way or another. But yeah, what I meant is um, maybe what I have to do is plant more crops than I planned on doing, which really only works if I have extra money um, am I forgetting something right now? I could take the scythe and go get myself more hay. Or I could just go to the mines. Clearly I made a choice. Even if I didn't necessarily mean to. Interesting how the grass doesn't grow all the way to the other grass. If that makes sense. But yeah, it's nice with all these blueberries. And it'll be nice with strawberries and stuff too. Um, just less hoeing that I'll need to do at the start of the new season. Definitely looking forward to that. Um, let's also do tree fertilizer. There's fiber and stone. Both of which I have plenty of. I don't know how much tree fertilizer I want to make. That's fine. Still got a lot of fi uh, fiber. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just going to go to the mountain thing. I think I already got mushrooms today. Yep. This is a lot of fucking common mushrooms. Considering just selling them. I mean, I... I, I don't know. Consider... When is blackberry season, actually? Hmm. 
8 to 11. I fully expect to be level 10 foraging before then. Which means my first blackberry harvest is going to be all iridium. Uh, that's a lot of energy. Uh, so, all I really need, I think... is for uh, the mushrooms to last me through um, up until blackberry season. And then I should have plenty of energy. I also have no idea how hard I'm gonna go during blackberry season. Probably being like way too picky and selective in which ones I actually use the fertilizer on, but it's fine. I should have used it on these because these are actually oak. Oh well. Oak is what I care about. If I can have like a second thing of. Uh, second farm of oak trees and eventually tap them all. Like that's what I would like to do for sure. Um, well, I guess, I, I assume I'm still short on coal, so let's just do that. Wow, immediate ladder. Wait, I'm only going to be in here for like an hour for my skills? <laughs> yeah, okay. Three auto ladders, what the hell? just kill these dust rides and go home. It's not what I wanted. There's the right click. Ah, yes, of course. Should be able to start robbing on a new thing. Ooh, two giant melons. Nice. Um, more ancient fruit. Can plant that today and have and harvest it by before the end of fall. 
Okay, cool. I'm just gonna save all this wheat to harvest for uh, fall one. Keeping these sprinklers here isn't really going to fly. I'll have to move them sooner or later. Um, as much as I'd like to wait until tomorrow to see what the traveling cart has, just in case it negates either a big goop or a big... Um, big barn. I can't do that tomorrow. If I want to start a building today. Actually, the buildings are several days later than I wanted. Alright. So, Marnie should be open today, right? No. Hmm. I need to empty my freaking inventory. For some reason, I wasn't really expecting to get eggs this early. I don't know. I should make a chest and put it in the thing. Also, I need to pick up my batteries and the mushrooms. And, uh... I mean, do I just sell all my blueberries straight up? Like, I don't know how much money I need for tomorrow. Well, okay. Let me open up the wiki. If I start a coop, that's 10,000. Which is fine. I'm going to make more than 10,000 in blueberries. Uh, but I also need a cow. Which is 1500, which is fine. Still gonna make more than that from blueberries. Um, and then I think I can sell the Gold Star Melons. Why not? I mean, I can turn them into wine, and that's still a good profit. I don't think I have anything else. That's that good of a profit. In the kegs. I'm like, I don't need to sell them. I think I just have enough money. I don't know why I'm keeping 56 of these. I don't hardly need to keep any. But I will kind of do something like that, I guess. I don't really know why, but if I need extra money, I can always sell them later. Do I have enough for two chests? Of course I do. Especially if I plan to run to Robbins, it might be worth it to swing by the community center and finish a bundle or two. Um, okay, 
coop upgrade. I don't even know what materials I need for that. Okay, I lost my train of thought because I had to like stop and get up and go do something. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these sprinklers. Really, I should just rearrange my self farming thing altogether. But whatever. Can always make additional sprinklers later if I want to. Um, See, that's a lot of fucking strawberries I have on me. Uh, a lot of gold and blueberries, I mean. <laughs> so I'm gonna like be stingy and keep a few more. <clears throat> Did I already chop down? Oh, no, I need coop materials. Which I guess is fine. I can go to Marnie's first. Coop is freaking 400 wood, dude. That's gonna be tough. There's a couple trees, but it's like not. I don't know. I mean, I do have a handful of trees on my farm I can cut down. I think I just need to do some lumberjacking. Let's double check that she's open on Saturday, though. She's only closed Tuesday and Friday. I have like 200 wood already, I think. I can just buy the rest. It's fine. I 
I did want to do some bundles though on my way to the thing. So tomato, five corn if I have it, some jelly. corn hay wheat wine I'll wait until my next harvest of wheat. That'll be fine. Should have been everything I brought for bundles, right? Thing is, if she's out of commission for a few days, when did I add more kegs? I was on like the 25th, right? So it's gonna be a few days. I'll be. She should be open again by the time I need to buy more kegs in case I need to buy more wood to be able to make the kegs. I don't know, it'll probably be fine, right? I'm getting a bunch of money from blueberries. I have extra melons and extra blueberries I can sell. I should have a round of pale ale that I can sell for money um, to make it all work to be able to afford uh, crop uh, fall seeds. I think I'm fine. Say hi to the cow. I kind of think I didn't. I may as well say hi to these people though. Thought she was gonna stand in my way. Besides, by the time I need kegs again, my uh, tree farm up at the train station should be pretty much done.
It should be like maybe a couple dozen trees that I can chop down. So that'll be cool. I don't know how much coal I have. I'm just gonna keep farming dust sprites because it's fucking, I don't know. A while ago. Look at all of that. I am. Don't even need it, but whatever. I really want that burglar ring. Ooh. 
so we're gonna be able to just pop the ghost, but clearly it didn't work. Hmm. Well, I really should have been thinking about my inventory some more. Pretty sure this is the most useless thing I have. Also, it's not a time to leave anyway. going to be able to use all my energy tomorrow anyway, so like... There's no harm in staying up late. It's a 19... 29 actually isn't too bad. Of course I'll burn through that quick. Um, okay, I may as well start melon wine, right? I could try burning through more hops, but like, eh. I just don't need to. Um, One pale ale, that's another 10,000. Um, let's keep a couple of those. And go ahead and ship the rest. Give me a better idea of where I'm at financially. more than I expected to make from blueberries. I'm not quite sure how or why that is. Like, I noticed that even before I sold them. When I was using, like, the lookup thing. I don't know. But. It's good money. 26,000, dude. Okay. <laughs> Suddenly I wish I had started a tool upgrade yesterday. Like my axe or something. Oh well. 212,000, huh? So... Too bad it's super lucky on a festival day, and I can't fully make use of that luck. But so yeah, I don't know if I had planned a better. On a DOA, I would have been able to anticipate the amount of money I have by like properly mathing out the kegs or whatever. Um, because if I hadn't delayed on 
like farm animal stuff. I would have been better off. As it is, I have to wait for the coop to finish, and then I have to wait for the barn to finish, and then I have to wait like five days for my goat to mature, basically. So the coop, I don't know, it's still basically, it's very, very close to the first week of fall. It's just the, you know, the tail end and stuff. Um, oh well, it'll be fine. Also, I may as well harvest that one flower. Because it ain't gonna last. Hello, cow. I think you need to be fed still, actually. Yes. finishing four hours maybe I'll just kind of let them stew and then I can do everything all at once I feel like I have a lot more batteries than I typically have. I'm like, sure. In traditional worlds, I can burn all that on sprinklers real quick. Kind of. Um, I don't know, whatever. Also spend time today trying to organize, you know, my crops. Have the sprinklers uh, set out and arranged for um, tomorrow. But this is going to be the last day of the episode. Wait a minute. I didn't see Robin in there. Like, there's the hammer symbol. She is working on this, right? She's not working because it's a festival? Does that actually delay the progress? But she is working on it, right? Otherwise, that thing wouldn't be on there. Shh. Ready on fall, too. Okay. Guess not. I don't know, somehow I didn't realize that Robin took festival days off. I wonder if that has something to do with like the specific time. Oh my god, 600 for speed girl. <laughs> That's huge. Large goat milk, don't I need that for a bundle? Oh my god, did I just get... I do need that. That will save me a big barn upgrade. I mean, I'm getting the barn upgrade anyway, eventually, because I want all the pigs. Um, which, honestly, for like the first, maybe, I don't know. 
I'm wondering if I would be able to get pigs before winter, which has like never happened for me. But like if I buy this large goat milk, I don't know, I can afford it, right? I mean, yes, I can afford it. But I'm trying to think. My coop isn't ready until fall too. Um, when did I plant that pomegranate tree? Because I'm waiting on that as well. I mean, all right, fall too, and then I upgrade to a barn or upgrade my barn. It's fall 10 at the soonest that I would have the greenhouse. I should check. Oh wait, it, it is a festival day, but doesn't start till really late, so I actually do have time for things. Oops. Whatever, doesn't matter. I'm surprised I'm still fighting these basic slimes. I would have thought they leveled up by now. I thought it scaled directly off your combat level. Maybe it doesn't scale until like year two or something? Where the fuck am I? Why? This happened before and I have no idea why. There's a fern in my way or something? God, I have no idea. Forgeables shouldn't spawn in places where you can't see them. I'm pretty sure that's like a rule of the game. I want to check when that pomegranate tree is going to be growing. Because, I mean... Oh, there we go. So that's going to be done on fall 7. So, hypothetically, I can have a greenhouse on fall 7, or I can buy buying that goat milk. Did I have that right? That the goat wouldn't be ready until fall 10? I'm probably overthinking this. Most construction projects are finished in two days by the start of the second day after placing an order. Yeah. Which means, so fall two is when the coop finishes. That's a Tuesday, right? Robin is closed on Tuesday, so I wouldn't be able to start the barn until Wednesday. And then she would finish the barn on Friday and then Marnie's ranch should be open on Friday so I buy a goat and then it takes five days Friday Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday which day is Wednesday the 10th the 11th no, it's the 10th. So yeah, I mean, three extra days on a greenhouse for 1380 gold. Also, well, no, I need to go anyway, right? Because I need to be able to sell goat milk and large goat milk. Or else I'm not going to have, like, the full shipment thing. According to the collection. Where I should hypothetically be able to find goat milk. I'd be really surprised if goat milk wasn't in here. Yeah, it's right over here. So I need to go anyway. But
<laughs> the other aspect of it is, um, is that like by fall two, well fall three I guess, because Robin's is closed, I need to make 12,000 for the barn. Plus probably enough money to buy enough wood for the barn upgrade. And then a couple days after that, I need another $4,000 to make, or to buy the goat. I don't know if I'm going to have $12,000 for a big barn that early. Like, I can get the goat later, it's fine, but having twelve grand in just a few days, I feel like that's a fairly tall order. I mean, I guess on the other hand, to be fair... I'm kind of only anticipating spending roughly 12 grand, sorry, uh, 40 grand on seeds. So like, maybe just the leftover money from seeds would be enough for the big barn upgrade. Not to mention, I have jellies and stuff that will make me more money. And I have other things. I can only sell gold melons, gold star melons, or blueberries or something if I really need the money. I don't know. I'm feeling pretty tempted to just buy the goat milk. The money will be negligible in the long run. It's close enough to negligible now. And then I get a greenhouse earlier, which those few extra days of greenhouse should make things better. Because now I don't have to spend that 12 grand on the barn yet. I mean, I don't know. I do want truffles, actually. I mean, I already bought the goat milk, but just in general, I guess, I'm thinking. I want to get a deluxe barn. Oh, shoot, I would need duck feathers, too. I guess I'm looking at upgrading the barn and coop all the way. Um, before the final week of fall. And I mean, I can do all the building upgrades within a week, assuming I have the money, which I'm sure I'll have the money because cranberries. I actually already have a duck. That was the other thing I was thinking of. Do I need, well, rabbit's foot too. What are the chances of a rabbit dropping a foot? They mature after six nights. And only drop a foot once sufficient friendship and happiness are reached. Hmm. So I might want to get that sooner rather than later. Actually, wait, I should double check if it actually is, in fact, used in a bundle. Yep, Enchanter's Bundle. I don't know. It's going to be kind of sketchy, I think to finish community center by winter. Or not necessarily the whole community center, but... Wait, why do I need to do it by winter? I might be mixing up my goals. 
Because the barn makes sense. The barn with pigs. I would need them to dig up a truffle if I wanted to make it to Ginger Island in winter. Because if they don't dig up a truffle by the end of fall, then I have to wait until spring to get a truffle. And I do need a truffle for a bundle. So... Yeah. But like the rabbit's foot, I don't see why I need to complete that in fall. It should be fine. Should be fine. Did I drop a chest off for you? No. Oh, I'm gonna need to um, work on other stuff too. Uh, I need radishes. I'll also need to remember to move the preserve jars next time they finish harvesting. Because uh, they're about to interfere with my kegs. <laughs> and I don't want that. I don't even know what I'm putting in these chests. Um, what am I doing today? It's a Sunday. I've already been to the traveling cart. Do I go back to the mines? It is very lucky. I should go back to the mines. I'm going to drop off some of the stuff that I don't need right now. I'll go ahead and keep the strawberries, I guess, and do that. Um... Oh, that's right. I was going to spend time organizing my farm. Maybe I should do that before I do the mines. Hmm. I don't know. It doesn't seem like a big deal, honestly. The fuck is this one seat over here? Oh. <laughs> I must have, uh... Okay, yeah. No big deal. about it too much. I think I can make it work tomorrow. I don't get very lucky days very often, so... I might have uh, missed a delivery quest for somebody.
Damn, dude. That dust part was like hiding under me. for these barrels again. Like, I'm still pretty sure it's generally worth it to break them. As long as you're not going, like, too far out of your way or anything. But, like... I don't know. Maybe I'd find that the drop table is overall worse than I actually think it is. But now every time I get mixed seeds, I'm just like, oh man, just imagine though. All the free pineapple seeds you're gonna get. I'm sure it's just a mechanical error on my part from whatever, but... I've been doing a lot of, uh normal attacks with the hammer when I'm trying to do a special and then of course there are times when like I'm trying to like walk away or something and I have like cute attacks or something locking me in place I don't know oh okay Anything about that. There's so few rocks, I may as well break them on the way just in case I get a ladder. Especially with the luck. Looks like I got a few hits in on that ghost. Cool. Things. Please die. I might actually went to the ladder that was further away. Did I actually cut all the large logs at my farm? Come on, I just, damn it. Okay, whatever. be more willing to farm non-dust sprites after I have a better weapon. Until then, it just kind of takes extra time and stuff. Um, I think I'd kill these dust sprites then and uh, head off to the festival. 25 coal. That's, um, you know, decent. I could stay in here longer, actually. I'm 
I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. I'm just uh, looking to see if I notice anything that is noteworthy, I guess. I should have until midnight to get to the festival, so like... I'm not worried if I take some extra time and uh, browse town a little bit, maybe find an artifact spot, maybe f dig up something in the trash. Oh no, I can't zoom in. Okay, well, that's fine. I do generally like it, but plus four fishing is nice. Um, I guess for the ice, uh, not the ice pip, the glacier fish. Let's play it safe and just go for it. It's really expensive, but you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to suffer through glacier fish. And I don't know for sure what else I'm going to get by winter. I feel like the chances are pretty decent that I'll get fish tacos from somewhere and those should be plus three. So like, that's something for sure. Um, the difference there should be pretty negligible. But I already bought the seafoam pudding, so fuck it. It's like half of an axe upgrade though. It's an entire watering can or hoe upgrade. I'm also trying to like wait to not till any dirt in the mines until after my hoe is upgraded. Because I don't want to have to deal with stuff. This is honestly one of the best festivals. Still not as good as Luau, because Luau gives a whole bunch of friendship. But like this one, you don't lose the entire day for. Plus, I don't know, just the aesthetic is a lot nicer, I think. I really didn't mean to be so zoomed out for this cussing.
Yahoo. I actually need like just a minute. But I can look at other stuff. Cool. Five days for foraging. Five days or less, I should say. Wait. How much was it? No, it's like two and a half days. <laughs> or less. <laughs> That's cool. That's pretty cool. Farming will be level 10 in the first week. Um... So at this point, I should start saving all my artisan goods. Uh, and then, you know, combat, whatever, mining, kind of whatever. We'll get there eventually. No, oh, wrong one. Um, hmm. I don't know. Is there any organization I want to try to do? Kind of. Let's clean up my inventory, if nothing else. I'm not sure this is the best idea to put the seed maker so far away. No. Okay. Do I want more sprinklers? I mean, the answer is yes. But it depends on how many seeds I buy, because I have 46,000. Which makes me want to just like go bigger on cranberries. Or, of course, pumpkins, because kegs. <laughs> if I look at a spreadsheet, I'm already planning on 120 pumpkin seeds. Two hundred and forty pumpkins. It takes like four days for a cake to process juice, right? Yeah. So every four days. So that's seven uh, cycles per month. But of course, I don't start until halfway through fall. It's going to be about 13 before I start getting stuff from spring. 12 or 13 cycles, I think. And with me adding 14 plus kegs per week, This math sounds wrong. 32, 46, I'm estimating. It's not actually 32, but it's close enough. Do I actually get oak resin during winter? Yeah, tabers placed on oak trees continue to produce during winter. So um, we're good there. What's going to happen is yeah, start kegging partway through fall. By the end of winter. Oh wait, no, 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 this is wrong actually. 
I know what's going on. Um, I need to rework some of these formulas. Still though, this number is coming up way bigger than it should. Right? I mean, for where I am, by the end of winter, I'm gonna have close to 130 kegs. Which means All my pumpkins will be gone in like two weeks. So to be able to keep my kegs busy, I guess the answer is to just buy even more pumpkins. And I'll have to like save other things and I don't know, other stuff will end up in uh, kegs regardless because I'm not going to have enough pumpkins. Especially not with like, well, hold on though, I have like five ancient fruit planted. But no, 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 I'm going to be snowballing those for a while. I'm uh, a good couple months out before I actually start using the ancient fruit for anything. So like, yeah. So if I have, how much money do I have? 46,000, I'm rounding down. Oh God, that's a lot of pumpkins. I think pumpkins only need to be planted by the second. So I can certainly prioritize um, cranberries and stuff. those do need to be planted on the first. I might just go for like 200 pumpkin seeds. You know? <laughs> that could be fun. I mean, if I'm doing that tomorrow, then I need, oh god, how many more sprinklers would that be? Good thing I have a spreadsheet that would tell me. Oh, he's most of it. 336 seeds. Forty-two. I already have was it 34, 35 sprinklers? So that's not too many more sprinklers. I don't want this in my inventory. I have 34. I only need eight more sprinklers. I think I have the gold bars for that. And I don't necessarily want to use all sprinklers anyway, but Let's just have, no, it's not that, it's this. I'll just have those on me in case. 
and then um, I can craft however, more, however many more sprinklers I want. But I do want to see how much of this I can clear out tonight. Like again, it's for pumpkins, and so I'm I'm not gonna get everything planted like tomorrow anyway. Just flat out not gonna happen. But when I do get around to planting pumpkins on the second day, and like other stuff, I don't know. I'm mostly gonna just be planting cranberries tomorrow anyway. But cranberries and pumpkins and some other random things and whatever. It's fine. I'll be fine. I'll need to uh, move that somewhere though. But thanks for watching. That's the end of the episode. I'll see you in fall. I don't have time to grab that jade. <laughs> oh nice. I didn't expect to level up mining, so that'll help with stuff. Fuck. But I'm not supposed to be here. Oh, I don't even have to water stuff tomorrow. Fuck yeah! Alright, see ya.